see more and more businesses making use of data at sort of arbitrarily large scales. So I completely believe what I think most of you are on board here with, that the goal of what we have is to make better decisions based on data. Until someone articulates exactly why they're different and how that's going to be a huge business, you know, it, we don't make an investment because that doesn't, companies are not meaningful until they can distinctly come up with a reason why they should exist. The opportunity that Mu Sigma took to position themselves as an integrator between both the data and the analytics, the math and the data knowledge, I thought that was very good as well. I think anybody can benefit from kind of moving up and getting better at analytics. So uh, the goal for me now is not to get everybody to stage five, but no matter where you are, you know, how do we, how do we move up? You know, one of the things that has been particularly interesting is the, uh, the, there was a comment made about the commoditization of the analysis. And so to me, that implies that we're going to move from left brain thinking and that right brain thinking is even more of a commodity um, than it ever has before. And so as we drive prices down on the analysis, how do you develop um, that innovation and sort of the art of the possible? The goal of all of that is to produce better decisions. The conference is great for me because it was a great chance to interact with other professionals in analytics, uh, to get an update on current trends. Uh, it was also great to uh, understand how we could better leverage U Sigma and our partnership and uh, get more value that way. A, a large part of the portion of getting the decisions right is how you're thinking about your problem. You know, the world's changing. How, you know, how do, how do the retail organizations change with that ever-changing world? Uh, you know, the competition, all of us look at the competition as the internet. So we try to take both of those models and saying, hey, we're going to focus on innovation, we're going to be more selectively integrated, i.e. we're not going to do everything ourselves, and we're really going to emphasize continuous improvement, not something, again, that had been in the DNA of the company, and try to change the culture at the same time. I don't have a PhD uh, in statistics. Uh, statistics is one of my uh, classes I had to take to get my MBA. Uh, but I have a lot of very smart people around me that uh, have, embraced, uh, uh, have embraced our vision, my vision, of what decision sciences can be. Uh, I want to thank Mu Sigma for hosting this event. Uh, I found it fascinating to be able to talk to the, uh, the many of you in, in, in uh, spaces outside of healthcare and just the, the common thread is, is uh, is, is very obvious and, and I think there's a lot we can we can do together. And the information age is about manipulation of information, which is computation. And that what differentiates companies in the future. We're all about really differentiating ourselves with computation. I think it will move from, from a science kind of uh, perspective of data and, and what can we do with it to a much more some sort of behavioral science kind of uh, aspect. For me, the biggest challenge and the biggest reward, yes, people spend a lot of time stroking their phones and living with their phones and talking on their phones, but actually it's also around how they're interacting on the web, how they're doing other activities that we can then integrate that in to get a fuller picture of that customer. Really happy to be here, a very efficient presentation of kind of the next evolution in enterprise analytics. At Plymouth Rock, we've kind of moved that beyond just the traditional actuarial world. So as an example, last year we had an initiative where we wanted to hire more long-term, um, high-potential prospects. And we had all this data around interviews and questions and um, some of the te initial testing and some initial screening, some of the sources where we had getting candidates. And the HR group came to my analytics group and said, hey, is there a way we can use all of this data to try to target high-potential hires into the future? So there's an example where we don't have analytics as an overall initiative, but analytics is kind of built into the culture about how might you go about solving problems. It was absolutely amazing. The amount of value Mu Sigma creates for so many top companies. So I was actually very honored to be here and very, very impressed by what I saw. Thank you. 
I'd like to think that we've evolved quite a bit in the last four or five years. And now when we think about workforce optimization, really there's two kind of key components to it. One is simplification, and the other is we call it just getting smart. The venue is beautiful. It's unbelievable. Oh, we'll definitely be back. I can guarantee that.